Now come and worship and bow down and kneel before our Maker. You're our God and we're your flock, the people of your pasture. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, January the 12th. It's the first week of Epiphany. <clears throat> and the scripture for this service, Psalm 113. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3 through 14, and the Song of Simeon, Luke 2, verse 29 to 32. And I ask you to bear with me. I'm recovering from a cold, and uh, so I have just a little bit of uh, congestion in my head and a little bit of a scratchy throat this evening. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we confess that we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may the almighty and merciful God Grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise, O servants of God. Praise the name of God Most High. Hallelujah. Psalm 113. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Praise, O servants of God. Praise the name of God Most High. Blessed be your name, O God, from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun until its going down, your name is to be praised. You are high above all the nations and your glory is above the heavens. And who is like you that dwells on high, who stoops to behold the things that are in heaven and on the earth? You raise the poor <clears throat> out of the dust, you raise the needy out of the dunghill, and you set them at the table with the leaders of the nations, even with the rulers of the peoples. And you give the barren a home and make her a joyful mother of children. We praise you, O God Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Hallelujah. Praise, O servants of God. Praise the name of God Most High. Hallelujah. The lesson is from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Chapter 1, beginning in verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before him in love, he destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, that he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us. With all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure that he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to gather up all things to himself, things in heaven and things on earth. In Christ we have also obtained an inheritance, having been destined according to the purpose of him who accomplishes all things according to his counsel and will, so that we, who were the first to set our hope on Christ, might live for the praise of Christ's glory. In him you also, when you had heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, 
and had believed in him, were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. This is the pledge of our inheritance toward redemption as God's own people to the praise of God's glory. Here ends the lesson. Keep us as the apple of your eye and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And now, O tender God, let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared before the face of the nations to be a light to lighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <clears throat> Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.